a good looking to die. I bid you all rise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. You know, it's really a shame that these villages don't have inns that we can sleep in. The thought of having to go all the way back to the ship. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to sooner or later to get the proper amount of sleep. But anyhow, we need to talk to this... Uh, what? All right, be ready. What is going on here? The time of preparation is over. The time of cleansing is at hand. Hear us, O great Lord Dagon. Hear our plea for mercy from the punishment incited by our neighbor's sins. Please, O Lord, do not let their defiance bring into question our unshakable devotion to your name. We offer you this sacrifice, this symbol of our goodwill, O Dagon the Magnificent. May her death spare the many souls of your loyal devotees. Dawn is breaking. Greet the new day! day. Greet the new day! Hear that? That's it! Destroy them! There'll be no sacrifices here. Unless they're to me. You cannot question my faith. I am loyal to the great Lord Dagon. Heresy. To disturb our holy sacrifice is to bring forth the wrath of Dagon. Have you no concept of the devastation you've begotten? Oh, I have an idea. But tell me, why are you doing this? Such folly. To nullify our ceremony without an understanding of its significance. Surely this is the result of our neighbor's dubiety. Answer the question. We conduct this prayer to ask the great Lord Mayrunes Dagon pardon from the reaping. We ask that he take the souls of our neighboring village, those who do not believe, in our stead, <laughs> so that we may continue to serve him in this life before really? we are welcomed home to eternal paradise. Set that woman free. Free from what? She is a volunteer. Would you deny her the honor of sparing us from the great Lord Dagon's ferocity? What gives you the right to dismantle our only means of salvation? It's not Dagon that you should be worried about. If she volunteered, then why is she bound? An act of goodwill. We want it clear that this sacrifice is not a hoax. Really? <laughs> Free her now, or you'll be praying to Dagon. From a casket. Did the aliens put you up to this? Hm. It matters not. Releasing her will not break her conviction. But since you insist... Why? Why are you doing this? This outsider wishes to test your faith, my child. My faith is strong. I am ready to walk the path of atonement. The objections of an outsider will not deter me. You see, my children are devoted. They will gladly trade this life for a chance at paradise. You're deluded. Dagon does not offer paradise. Ah, more hearts. Somebody, I hope, has a recipe on how to prepare.
prepare them. <laughs> By the nine. All right. I'd say that was assisting the villagers. Do you have anything Greetings. else to say? Welcome to the village, traveler. Hmm. Is there anything the village needs help with? There is a matter of great concern among my children. Our neighbors, the aliens, actively work to oppose our beliefs. They're not the only ones. Recently, they have been seen constructing defenses to protect themselves against the reaping. Fools. They cannot hope to hold out against Dagon's warriors. If their defiance draws the Daedra to this side of the island, they endanger my people as well. The last thing I need is for the Great Lord to mistake my children for those wretched defilers. I need someone to sabotage their defenses, burn their provocation to the ground. Show the Daedra that this side of the island will not incite violence. <laughs> you can't be serious. Do you mock the will of the village? Perhaps you are not faithful enough to carry out this assignment. No, I'm not. Yes? No. Good morning. Good evening. I feel like killing these villagers myself. Let's go. So what else is it that we need to do? I'm not helping these people. I really don't care. They seem like they're a bunch of fools. All right, there's another village over here. Let's make our rounds. I think we've already... Uh, your mistake! Another fetcher! Some sort of troll! Curse it! Get them! Another down. down. Really, Tassius? Your fists? I need to get you a weapon. All right, let's go. Let's see what these other villages want. Wait, don't I hear the creaking? Oh, it's Tassius. Oh, look! They didn't want oh. to chance. That's what I thought. What was that? An iron atronach. Iron atronach ore. Come on. These are the people that I, we, killed earlier. You. What, way what do you can want? I be of assistance? Hmm. Hmm, I've made a decision. Well? No, thank you. Fine. But this stays between us. Understand? I think they wanted us to kill the Elder. And we are supposed to find out how they've been spared. 
from the runes Dagon. You there? Yeah? What about you? Speak. Yes? Hmm. I've made another decision. Well? Say no more. I'm in. Ah, good to hear. This is all hypothetical, of course. Hmm. All right, well. Let's go back to the other village. Wait, what are all these markers? Was that? It's more than just a. What, is that a squirrel making that noise? It is. Come on. These are the noisiest squirrels. Turned. Did you speak with the elder of their village? I did. And he wanted me to kill you. What? The audacity of that scheming snake. You refused, I assume? <laughs> well, I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain what to make of that. I will not overlook this treachery. Orders to assassinate the elder of a neighboring village will be met with one response. Invasion. Oh, really? I want to discuss this with my companions first. Do what you must. This is your village, isn't it? Dragonborn? Your thoughts on the conflict. I will not hide my bias. The Nors are my kin. Right or wrong, they have my support. All right. And Sothicide? The Reaping is more complex than the aliens believe. Walls would do very little to save them. The choice isn't easy, but allow me to suggest siding with the Sutherans. At least with them, you won't be forced into committing murder. All right. And you? Need anything? Your thoughts on the Norstead village conflict? The Westfolk cheated the last reaping and have made no attempt to share their secret with the rest of us. They think their lives are worth more than ours. I stand for the Nors on this. All right, then. Oh, you, my so-called sister. Yes? What are your thoughts? The Norse would have us murder an entire village. Yes. I cannot sight with such madness. Why did I even bother to ask you? All right. I can't really make up my mind. But 
You want something from me? No, not from you. You. Mm -hmm. I've made a decision. I'm eager to hear it. I'm sure you are. I agree. The Wes can't be allowed to get away with this. Come now. I'll gather my people, then we'll march upon those murderous cowards. <laughs> You'll have to take care of it yourself. I'll just observe from afar. Come on. I never realized that people manipulating these people the would be so much come. fun. For too long have our neighbors profited off our sacrifices, off the blood of our fallen brothers and sisters. And how do they repay us? By hiring mercenaries to assassinate me. Gather your bows, unsheath your blades. We march to assault our enemy's village. Let's see here. Can I reanimate one of these creatures? I can. Yeah, why don't you help them? And you. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to lift a finger. But that doesn't mean I can't conjure some help. Serious. Get them. Your mistake. Your mistake. <laughs> Get out of here. No. My wounds will heal. Yours will. Alright, I said I would lift a finger, Run. but... Get out of here! What happened to my... servants? I'm too young and good looking to die! I bid you all... Ah. Rise! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've become so powerful. Who's left? Did the elder die as well? No, oh, here she is. Yes? It's done. We showed those danger worshipping scum. Thank you, outsider. You have put yourself in danger more than once for my people. Deeds like that will not go overlooked. I should hope not. 
<laughs> oh. Are you, uh... Tidings. How can I assist? I think you're the... Are you a merchant? All right, so... My companions are here. And look at all these people. Tassius. In what way can I be of assistance? Oh, here's my... Oh, you were brought back too. <laughs> Huh? All right, well. I say it's time we conquer another village then. Oh, I see an oblivion gate down there. Speak to the Dramora. Why did I think that they wouldn't attack me? Oh, let's see. So you're going to make this difficult for me, aren't you? Now you show up. And who is this? You. Draw your blade, mortal. I wish to test your alleged merit for myself. One on one. No help from your pets. Hmm. Test my merit? Your worthiness in combat. If I'm to pledge my servitude to a mortal, I want to know they are deserving of it. Pledge servitude? Hmm, I like the sound of that. But what are you talking about? First we duel. Only then will I explain my master's intent. Provided your head is still attached. All right, then. Everyone, stay out of this. I'll handle it. Let only the most worthy prevail! For kind and glory! Impossible! 
<laughs> I'll make you pay me. for that. All right, didn't I say stay out of it? Ah! All right, so much for staying out of it. You. My little realms, my master was right. You are worthy. Your master? Apologies, mortal. Former master. He relinquished his power over me temporarily, so that I may ensure your survival. He will not permit your death before the prophecy is fulfilled. Hmm, and who was your former master? The Warden of this coast. I the served warden. his house up until just recently, when he assigned me to yours. Hmm. So the Warden has Dramora servants. This surprises you. My former master has many ties with the Daedra. Kind servants are just one of them. And what if the Warden orders you to kill me? while you're in my service. A kind cannot serve two masters. By the rule of Dagon's hierarchy, I am obligated to fulfill my former master's wishes up to the point of reassignment. Now that you are my master, I am no longer bound by any future orders he might issue. All right then. So if you help me, You'll be killing your own kind. If I manage to kill them, then they are weak and unworthy of their service to Lord Dagon. By thinning the herd, I keep my brother strong, Master. It is a great honor. <laughs> All right then, you can join my party right now who will you send away in my place that's a hard choice i think i'm going to send away my so-called sister excellent i eagerly await the opportunity to sever heads in your name master thank you all right did you need to talk to me about something what do you want? Is something on your mind? I've been giving some thought to what you said earlier. Truth is, it's easier to convince myself father is dead than to confront the possibility that he isn't. I just don't want to hear one more person explain why they're better off without me. Especially him. But that's childish, isn't it? The worst he can say is what I've assumed all along. Maybe it's time to give him a chance. Do you know where this outcast camp is? My village had nothing better to talk about. Believe me. I'll mark your map with the details. Well, hopefully we haven't killed him already. <laughs> You'd know it if we had. He's the only pure-blooded orc on the island. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let's go then. <sighs> yeah, let's. I suppose we can, uh, destroy the other villages on our way.